This is Ken Cusey back with another one of those block rocking beats. Oh wait, a golf ball review. And as you can see, it's cut gray. So I've, I've looked at and used the cut, the cut blue, the cut blue DC, a lot of the vice golf balls and a few others. Oh, and seed, don't forget seed. Seed so far is among my favorites. Anyway, today I'm going to look at and potentially play the cut gray. And of course it says this ball goes far and feels ridiculously good. One dozen tour quality golf balls at an affordable price. I chose the white color. They may have other colors, but my DC or my cut blue DC are yellow. Uh, good looking ball, okay, packaging. If I open this up here, this is gonna be the one that I uh, play with today since I've ruined this particular sleeve. And I already did a little test, you know, the test that you put on your tooth. So these balls indeed are what they call uh, urethane cover, three-piece construction, I believe it is. Let me zoom in here. Cut gray. Like it. These are the number one. Ooh, I like it. Number one. All right, let's take a look and see what this box says on the back. So... Urethane cover, that gives the cut gray its tour feel. We stay true to our core. This one was developed for crazy soft feel and superhero distance. My goodness. The unsung hero is improving distance and enhancing feel and spin. So I think I said, saw somewhere where it says a three-piece ball. Yeah, it is a three-piece ball. I don't know where it says it, but it says it here somewhere. I saw it. I know I did. It says, uh... Anyway, uh, I'm going to play it. I'll clip in uh, my feelings and uh, my ideas uh, behind how the ball is good or bad. I know some of the other more professional ball review people on YouTube have given it some good reviews. Some of the more amateurs say that it's eh, but when you look at the actual numbers, it compares very favorably to premium balls. This pack of 12 was 20 bucks or less than 20 bucks at Walmart. I had a gift card, so really my cost was zero. So... Out of pocket, I paid zero. I'm gonna go play my little uh, par three course that has one par four and see if I can't get this ball to get close to the pin. And if I do get close to the pin, I'll even copy in some, some uh, course shots with my awesome play. As you know, I'm kidding, I'm a 15 to 18 handicap, so awesome play, I have a couple good shots and some not so good shots. I'm trying very hard. I've taken lessons. I use the Callaway Apex DCBs, relatively new with senior graphite shafts. I love them. Uh, hoping that uh, my game continues to improve. And if I need to take more lessons, gosh darn it, I will. You know, replacing the clubs isn't the answer, uh, but getting lessons certainly is. Be back in a minute. Okay, I just played some with the Cut gray. This is a three piece urethane ball. Let's see if we can get some uh, focus on there. Cut gray. Yeah, uh, I hit them quite well. In fact, uh, I played the same couple holes over and over again. I, I have a small par three course that I play with one par four hole. I normally don't play the par four hole because it backs up to uh, some houses and uh, I've been known to hit those houses when I go over the green. Uh, so really I play a couple holes, two and a half holes, one, two holes in their entirety, then one hole I pitch on and practice with my uh, short game. Uh, had some really good hits. I find that the cut gray does go as far as other balls. In fact, it, I was able to go down to my nine iron from an eight iron and from my, to my A wedge from my P wedge. Uh, I think it's first of its part, part of its practice, but I think I'm, th these balls are soft, urethane. They respond well. Uh, the one thing I noticed is, and again, this is on every ball I've used over the last week or so, they've cut the greens, the posted stamp sized greens, very short. And as a result, it's very dry here right now by the time I get out to play because this is Phoenix, it's a desert. So what's happening is when I hit the green, the ball does not stop. And I think if I was playing more of a traditional size green, the ball would stop. It wouldn't stop within a couple feet. It might, but it would stop. And, and, and these greens are 
like hitting on the road, uh, there's no, no checkup on the greens with a, a, a tee shot. I am able to get some checkup though and some spin on my short, you know, my chips and my pitches. I've done okay with that. But these balls, uh, along with the Seed and the Vice Pro and ProSoft and Pro Plus, uh, I think for the money, these were $19.95 at Walmart. You can also get them online. I also bought the, uh, the, the Cut Blue and the Cut Blue DC. Uh, they, these are a little clicky, less clicky than the, the, the Cut uh, Blue DC, for whatever reason, are very clicky to me when they hit the iron. However, they putt well, they drive well, they check up when they're supposed to. Highly recommend uh, this for 20 bucks. The, the cut blue are $20, the cut gray are $20, and I think the uh, the cut DC, because they're a four-piece ball and they're supposed to be a tour ball, I think are $29 and change. When you sign up and buy them direct from cut, you do get a 15% coupon, which I did, inc did inc get, or you can go to Walmart and Target and buy these balls. Anyway, highly recommended. Uh, I'll be talking about some other balls during the week, but uh, you'll see these balls have no dicks, cuts, scrapes, crannies. I did wash them because, you know, sometimes when you see a, a blemish, some grass or dirt on a ball, it could look like it's a blemish, a scratch, a, a divot, uh, a mark on the ball. And all three of these were played the same number of holes, quite a few holes actually, uh, at least nine, maybe more. They all had a lot of iron shots on them, some putts. I don't have the ability to drive because of the fact that this course is too small. And the one hole that I could potentially drive on, yeah, it backs up to a Costco. And the gas station attendant has more than his share of golf balls. Uh, one or two might be mine, but most of them are not, thank God. Anyway, uh, love the cut, love the vice, love the seed. Those are the three golf balls that I think I'll focus on, even though I have other great balls that I've used uh, including Mizuno balls are good, uh, Bridgestone are good. Uh, actually, all the balls I've tried for the most part, as long as they're urethane uh, and are three or four piece balls, work great. Uh, two piece balls, you know, I'm at the point now where I'm good enough to see or feel the difference between a two piece and a three piece, urethane versus non urethane. And if I'm spending $20 on balls, I might as well get uh, urethane that have our three piece construction that are relatively soft and we'll check up on the greens. Anyway, have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.